Hello folks, in this video we are going to talk about three major things, the human evolution, the civilization and the religions. Let's see that how did we humans come into existence. Around 4 billion years ago, life is said to have existed in simple single cell organisms known as prokaryotes in the form of bacteria. What happened is this cell had nucleus going in the advanced form resulting in the formation of amoeba, algae and fungi. As years passed by, life started existing in water bodies and this saw the rise of the age of the fishes. Then came the amphibians which could live on both land and water. Then came the reptiles, the mammals, dinosaurs, monkeys, the advanced form of monkeys, the apes and the advanced form of apes, the human beings, that is you and I. So what was really different between the human beings and the previous species? From mammals to apes to humans, the size of the human brain increased significantly and this led to giving them more intelligence. The modern day humans are homo sapiens and considered to be the most influential species on the earth. It is said that the first sophisticated human beings existed in Africa alone. Then how is it that all of us live in different corners of the world? How is it that we all look different, we follow different practices, we look different? Why is it so? The answer to this is a simple thing that happened somewhere around 50,000 BC. A set of 10,000 people said to have evolved in Africa and only 150 of them actually started migrating out in different directions, maybe with an intention to look for better places to live and better ways of life. As they started settling in different regions, they developed social abilities and started making families. This resulted in the formation of societies, cultures and establishment in the way of life which we refer to as civilizations. Let's take a look at few ancient civilizations which hold a significant impact on human lives even today. It is known that the Mesopotamian civilization is one of the oldest civilizations with human settlements dating back to 10,000 BC. It is popularly known as a cradle of civilization because it gave rise to a lot of complex urban centers, namely the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians and the Assyrian empires. The word Mesopotamia means the land between the two rivers, Tigris and Euphrates. The land is majorly today's Iraq and some portions of Iran, Syria and Turkey. The main reason for the settlement in Mesopotamia is considered to be the fertile conditions of the land. One of the key developments in Mesopotamia was trade and to maintain trade accounts they developed a cuneiform system of writing in around 3500 to 3000 BC. Mesopotamians believed in a lot of gods and had several temples named ziggurats across the cities. They say that the priests and ziggurats could actually talk to God. However, with the course of time, Mesopotamia faced a lot of natural calamities like floods and this led to questioning the power of God. This saw the rise of palaces and cities and the shift of power from God to King related to the well-being and success of the people. Another ancient and influential civilization is the Egyptian civilization which is believed to have existed since 5500 BC in the northeast of Africa. It is one of the longest lasting civilizations and the major reason of settlement here remains River Nile. The early dynastic period in Egypt started in around 3150 BC under the first pharaoh Nama, also known as King Menes. The success of this civilization is credited majorly to the ability to adapt to the conditions of River Nile which is predicting the floods and controlling the irrigation. The Egyptians invented a hieroglyphic system of writing which involved nearly 100 symbols representing a word, a sound or a silent determinative. One of the best developments was the architecture which was included in their enormous sphinx, pyramids and their colossal temples. Ancient Egyptians believed in many gods and goddesses, sun being their primary deity which represented the eternal cycle of birth, death and rebirth by its passage across the sky. Because of this, the Egyptians believed in rebirth and hence they performed mummification of the dead. Pharaoh was the political and religious leader and was considered to be the high priest of every temple. His personal welfare and that of the people were bound together closely. One of the initial civilizations in the world began around 5500 BC in ancient India known as Indus Valley Civilization. It is comprised of what is majorly today's Pakistan and the Indian states of Punjab, Haryana, Gujarat and Rajasthan. A lot of things about Indus Valley Civilization remains a matter of speculation and retrospective because the script remains undeciphered. The script consisted of nearly 400 to 600 distinct complex symbols. The scripts were majorly written on small tablets, ceramic and clay pots and seals which are suspected to have perished over a period of time. The Indus Valley Civilization is known for its well-planned and large cities with elaborate facilities. They possessed a high order of engineering skills and achieved great accuracy in measuring length, mass and time. 
Some of the seals of the Indus Valley civilization show swastika and many others have animals presented in the form of Hindu gods Shiva and Indra. They also believed in worshipping the mother goddess symbolizing fertility. All of this is actually seen to have relation with the later religions in India. Greek civilization emerged during 800 BC at Greece and some parts of the islands of the Asian Sea and the present-day Turkey. However, the geographical coverage of the Greek civilization kept changing over a period of time. Around 750 BC, all the Greeks started colonizing in different directions, resulting into scattered cities. So, they devised a form of governance called polis, under which a group of people would form city-state and make decisions about communal matters. Greeks worshipped and believed many gods and goddesses. The head was god Zeus. The Greek gods actually symbolized different aspects of life such as wisdom and learning, music and culture, love, hunt, wine, etc. The Greek gods were seen as a potential source of help as against a focus of devotion. Mayan civilization is a Mesoamerican civilization developed by the Maya people in southern Mexico, Guatemala and Belize. The pre-classic period dates from 2000 to 250 BC where complex societies were established. They built some great stone cities, monuments and pyramids. The Mayan people excelled at calendar making. They recorded lunar and solar cycles, eclipses and movements of planets with great accuracy. Their observations about celestial bodies saw the rise of astronomy as well. The Mayans believed in a supernatural realm consisting of a lot of powerful deities who needed to be pleased with ceremonial offerings and ritual practices. Blood was seen as a potent source of nourishment for the Maya deities and hence they believed in sacrificing of the living creatures including humans for ultimate important tasks. Persian civilization also known as the Persian Empire was one of the most powerful states during 539 to 331 BC. It stretched from Egypt in west to India in east and was ruled from Persia which is now Iran. This empire was established by King Cyrus who expanded the boundaries by conquer. The Persians worshipped the fire god Ahura Mazda as believed by the prophet Zoroaster and the religion was termed as Zoroastrianism. The Persians believed that only one god is worthy of worship. The Persian dynastic history was actually interrupted by the Muslim conquest of Persia in 651 AD and the main religion was thereafter replaced by Islam. This resulted in the migration of the Zoroaster followers called Parsis from Persia to India. Religion can be classified into three broad categories. Polytheism which is belief in many gods, monotheism which is belief only in one god, pantheism which is belief in everything is god and god is everything and we have the lately emerging one which is atheism, belief that there is no god. Talking about Hinduism, when did the Hindu religion come into existence is a question with multiple answers. The religious practices were followed in ancient India during the Indus Valley civilization and can be traced back to 3300 to 1300 BC where two major events happened, the Mahabharata and the birth of Lord Krishna. The question about Hinduism remains open that is it an ethnicity and not a religion because there is no method as such by which one can convert to being a Hindu. Judaism is a religion believed and followed by Jews which gives out the expression of the agreemental relationship that God established with the children of Israel. The ancient monotheistic religion is said to have roots back in 2000 BC with Abraham who had ultimate faith in God who is referred by the name Yahweh. Nearly thousand years after Abraham, Jews were treated as slaves in Egypt until Prophet Moses came and led them out of the slavery to their promised land. According to the Bible, this took place around 1500 to 1350 BC. During their journey on the high mountain, it is said that God talks to Moses and gives him the Ten Commandments which forms the basis of this religion. Christianity is currently the world's biggest religion with 33% of the global population known as Christians. Christianity is based on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ who was the promised Messiah according to the Old Testament of the Bible. He is believed to be the Son of God and Saviour of humanity. Jesus Christ, however, was a Jewish preacher himself and a religious leader. Christians believe that there is only one God but it has three elements, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The time of the Jesus is said to be from 2 BC to 32 AD. Around 40 to 90 AD, the New Testament of the Bible was written by the Christ follower. Islam is the Abrahamic monotheistic religion and says that God is only one and incomparable. It is articulated by the Quran and which is believed to be the God's word as revealed to Prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel. The time of Muhammad is said to be from 570 to 632 AD. Buddhism is a tradition founded by Siddharth Gautam, widely known as Gautam Buddha, in northeast of India during the 5th century BC. It includes a variety of traditions, spiritual practices and beliefs 
which are based on the teachings of Gautam Buddha and can be given out by the four noble truths. The truth of the suffering, the truth of the origin of the suffering, the truth of the cessation of the suffering and the truth of the path to the cessation of the suffering. Buddhists try for a deep insight into the true nature of life and do not worship any gods or deities. So from what all we have seen and heard by far, what we understand is we all have originated from the same place and somewhere or the other we have the same ancestors as well. But just because the first few people settled in different areas and due to the geographical and climatic conditions, we all look different. The people who settled at different places believed differently, prayed differently and it all passed down to us in the form of religions, customs and cultures. But shouldn't we just take it as a way of life? Maybe we should rethink.